Our next film is called Heartbreak Hotel, and unless the writer of this film was trying to make a put on, and I doubt it, <laughs> he's created one of the most laughably bad films I've seen in a long, long time. The story is far-fetched to say the least, but its particulars are extremely ridiculous. It's a fantasy set in 1972, and a teenage son wants to please his divorced mom, so he arranges a date with her with Elvis Presley. He kidnaps Elvis Presley after a concert nearby in Ohio, and he brings him to his mom. Charlie Schlatter plays the audacious son. David Keith plays Elvis. My mom says you looked the coolest in 56. She did, huh? The musical theme of the movie is the kid thinks Presley has gone soft as a rock and roller. Presley reluctantly agrees and goes back to his roots, joining the kid at his high school talent show. Just about everything is wrong with this movie, and I think I just said that not too long ago, so there's a theme running with this program. The relationship between the son and the mother, played by Tuesday Weld, who is usually such an interesting actress, is awkwardly strained. They're very angry at each other, which is out of keeping with the rest of the movie, which is kind of sweet. The kidnapping plot is silly beyond compare, involving, of all things, a look-alike for Elvis's dead mother. That's weird. Then, when Elvis comes to the kid's house, Nothing seems to occur as if it might really have happened. I mean, if this thing could possibly happen. A whole lot of screen time is devoted to Elvis helping the boy's little sister not being afraid of the dark. I mean, you got a movie about Elvis Presley coming to your house. I mean, you're going to ask him a lot of questions. You may ask him to do certain things, go out with you, you know, or take you in one of his Cadillacs, buy you a Cadillac. One of the things you're not going to ask him is, you know, my sister's afraid of the dark, uh, Elvis. Yeah, uh -huh. I mean, would you help her with it? Yeah, I especially mean, you're not going to ask him that if uh, you've read the book about Elvis Presley and his relationships with uh, well, pubescent that's a, that's, women and so forth. That's a whole other thing. I laughed at Heartbreak Hotel, but not with it. One of the problems I had with the movie was that I, I, my mind got into its subversive mode, you know. Yeah. I began to feel that the entire movie was so silly and in such... A complicated way. I mean, you can see so many of these scenes in two or three different ways, especially if you have even a slightly dirty mind, right, that I began to laugh all, at all the wrong times, at all the wrong things. Another problem was they could have gone with an Elvis impersonator who looked a little bit like Elvis. Instead, they went with David Keith. He right. was the kid who committed suicide and an officer and a right. gentleman. A good actor. He, he's a good actor. He doesn't look like Elvis. Well, that's he doesn't a sound like no. Elvis. I'm looking at him. I never got over it. From the beginning of the picture mm -hmm. to the end, I never got over the right. fact that this was obviously not Elvis Presley. I mean, I'm waiting for the big scene at the end no. where the guy says, fooled you, I'm not really Elvis. I'm his double. Elvis sent me out to look at my dead mother there, yeah. you know. I mean, well, you're waiting also. The movie sets up something about the father coming back. I mean, it, it, the... The script here, mm -hmm. uh, this was a clever sell, I think, in somebody's office that we talk about all the time. Uh, we're going to make a story involving a kid and Elvis, so we'll get the Elvis crowd plus we'll get the kid crowd. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, they've got nothing here because the script is all screwed up. It's one of those movies where... The problem is it's a comedy, but you don't laugh at anything that's supposed to be funny, but you're laughing all the rest of the time at things some that aren't things, funny. This some movie, things are astonishing. You know how they're always complaining there aren't enough bad movies anymore for the Golden Turkey Awards? I think that we've got one more candidate this year.